So today in this video, we're going to talk about four stocks in this video, AFRM, UPST, Cohen, and also DKNG DraftKings. But before we dive into this video, please hit that thumbs up button. That is greatly appreciated. And that really helps out with YouTube algorithm. And if you want to support the channel and especially get my daily trade ideas, my swing trade ideas, and three days of live trading in my Discord, Monday through Wednesday, check out the Patreon. I'll leave a link down below in the description and it's worth every penny. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. And now let's get right into AFRM. And this thing was down Friday 6%. But if you look at it, guys, the last video I made on the stock, we got a bear flag right here on AFRM. It played out to the downside all the way down under $13. And then we saw a lot of buying and especially going under lower Bollinger Band and this thing getting that Bollinger Band bounce all the way up to now $17 to $18. Now also with the CPI, this thing gapped up from $14.79. And now we also got that gap on top $18.15. So I think there is money to be made next week starting tomorrow. Monday, if we get a pullback on the stock all the way down to, I would say $15, or actually just right here, around $14.93 to $15. That's gonna be an absolute dip buy on the stock. Now, if this thing can continue to the upside, it needs to hold the support right here. Blue line 5SMA, 1624, and that is holding into closing on Friday. So that's gonna be key level to the upside. If we are in the stock right now, watch this level 1694 and below that between 1493 up to 1558 those are dip buying zone on afrm if that holds as a support right here to the upside above this blue line 5 sma 1624 this thing can run all the way up to 18.15 right here to close that gap on top and i think in next few weeks above this level we're going to see 20 plus on AFRM. So watch out here on this one. And now we're going to look at coin. On coin basis down 1.58% and we saw a massive run on Friday all the way up to 114.43 just like Nvidia stock and then this thing came down all the way down to 101.22 and now it's holding upper Bollinger Band as a support 104.37. Now, what's unfortunate, at least for me, I got the dip here on Coinbase pre-market, and then when the market opened, I bought even more. This thing dipped again, and now, guys, my average was like 46-ish. This thing, I sold out slowly, and was out completely right here, because that is a big resistance right here. And that was a swing trade, not a long-term position. So around 63, 64, I got out completely, and now the stock is trading at 105. So there is something uh, in this market, which is amazing that it can hold uh, a bit longer. Who knows, anything can push higher anytime in this market. Now on Coinbase, definitely this is not at a buy zone right now. If we are chasing, and I see a lot of people are chasing Coinbase because they think Bitcoin going to like uh, possibly 60,000 end of the year or maybe 50. And if that happens, just don't forget, this thing was over 400, guys. So at some point, yes, you know, 200, even 300 possible, but chasing is not the game. If you're playing that game, you're going to lose money. You want to wait for a decent pullback. Now, if you look at it, this is not even a decent pullback on Coinbase down to uh, 105, holding above upper Bollinger Band. So I think a decent pullback, for at least a swing trade, that would be down here, guys, around $85. And I don't know if we are going to get there, but I think there is a decent entry on Coinbase if you want to go and swing trade. But as a day trade, I don't see any opportunities on Coinbase unless you short it right here, then you made money and you could be making more money going into next week. But I think we're going to see a pullback before heading higher. So the next level here to watch on Coinbase below 104, that would be down here, 93.72, blue line 5 SMA, and it's going up rapidly. So I would say Monday, watch out between 94.95 to 
uh, 90 or uh, 93 94 to 95 right here because blue line 5 SMA will move up uh, into trading session Monday so that is the support level to watch below the support upper Bollinger Band 104.37 and if that gives up this blue line 5 SMA then definitely you're going to get that dip at 85 and that's gonna be an absolute dip buy on the stock we do have more support at 82 13 SMA on this daily chart and then white line 20 SMA at around $74. Now Coinbase can stay above this level, upper Bollinger Band 104.37. We're going to see that run continuing all the way up to 116. UPSD stock was also down on the day 1.84% on Friday. In the last video I made, the stock was down here guys, below 38.80 and now since I made that video, this thing made a lot of progress right here to the upside, all the way up to almost $49. Now, if you look at it, definitely the stock is not a buy at this moment, getting overstretched, uh, trading above almost upper Bollinger Band on Friday, 47.38. So next week, going into tomorrow, support level to watch on a pullback, 44.47, blue line 5 SMA, and below that, UPSD could be coming down here to retest this breakout which is around $39 right here and that would be a dip buy a healthy level to buy that dip on UPSD if you're buying here I don't know what to tell you guys yes we could possibly see a move all the way up to 55 but at this point the stock is getting extremely overbought you want to wait for a pullback a decent pullback and also you want to see the stock coming down and retesting the breakout which is around 38 to 39 dollars right here and then we also have strong support down below so that would be a better opportunity to put a stop right here at uh, 37 because we have rising white line 20 SMA setting at 37.25 and if you're buying right here you can put a stop right here on EPST and ride it all the way back up to uh, 49 dollars and above that guys it's gonna be another breakout and this thing can move all the way up to $55. So Monday as a support 44.47 and below that retesting breakout around $38 to $39 and then we also have support at $37.25 on EPST. On DKNG DraftKings it was down 2.40%. Now if you look at my screen and that is why I didn't take all these arrows down here on DKNG because last few times the stock came up here got rejected and made a new low and every time DKNG came up here got a big sell off all the way down to almost the lows that we got right here and then again down here and then finally guys a breakout above $21 now if you look at my screen since the breakout this thing ran all the way up to 31.71 uh, and even on Friday was running up to 31.47. Now if you look at my screen, let's forget all these and also we got gaps down here. The recent one down here at 29.24 and then we also have gaps down here at 21.71. So this stock also getting overstretched. Yes, the stock is looking extremely bullish with bullish momentum here on this longer time frame monthly chart MACD getting a bullish cross and that is why this thing is running like no other tomorrow. Now you want to wait for a pullback. It's never a good idea to go and chase anything anytime. You want to wait for a decent pullback and right now I think that pullback, the first pullback we could see on DKNG down here to 29, 24. To close this gap we do have strong support at 30 also because we got rising blue line 5 SMS sitting close to $30 or just above 30 and then we got the gap down here at 29.24 but I think if you look at it right here before getting that breakout right here around uh, $27 if somehow this thing gets down to 27 that would be retesting this breakout down here and then that could create a lot more opportunity to the upside. But I think the stock, as of right now, we could see a massive move on DKNG, and this thing can possibly go all the way up to $39 to $40, and that is the next stop above this white line. 20 SMA right here, 
26 uh, 26.68 so DKNG definitely has that power right now we got a strong bullish trend it's not going to just roll over and die easily and this thing can definitely go and hit that level around 39 to 40 dollars but I do want to see a pullback at least down to this gap and also down to this uh, breakout channel right here and that is around 26.77 to 27 dollars and that is also aligned with this rising white line 20 SMA 26.68 and that's all I have for you guys in this video